Well, censorship at the library, someone secretly hiding sexually explicit films from the shelves. So we want to know, should public libraries refrain from carrying these types of movies? You can actually vote right now on our interactive poll at WXYZ.com slash vote. Let's get to 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie, who's at the Berkeley Library. So, Ali, what are officials there telling you? Well, right now they're putting Anna and Christian Gray on full display, along with a sign saying they're going to be against any type of censorship. Mr. Gray, we'll see you now. The love or lust story between a college student and a prominent businessman is something someone doesn't want you to see, according to the Berkeley Public Library director Matt Church, who says the DVDs and Blu-rays of the movies keep disappearing. Our assumption is that they didn't want them available for people to check out. The movies went missing not once or twice, but six times. Each time the movies disappeared, the library paid to replace them, spending around $100. It's very frustrating. It's a, it's a form of censorship, someone making a decision for someone else. Eventually, the missing DVDs were found inside the library, so Church decided to take a stance, displaying the movies for all to see with a sign reading, someone didn't want you to check these items out. They deliberately hid all of these items so you wouldn't find them. This is not how libraries work. People who use the library say they are all for the strong stance against censorship. I think it's childish and stupid. Why, why do that? It's, you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. You're imposing your attitudes on someone else when you do, you know, when you go to that extent. Now that the movies are on display, Church hopes whoever is responsible for hiding them will learn a valuable lesson. We hope that uh, whoever has hidden these in the library um, will we'll see that the community supports us having these on the shelves. Now, there's a couple other movies that went missing, including the Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise movie Eyes Wide Shut. That, too, is on display. Reporting live in Berkeley, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News.